Hello, Libra. It's your turn. <laughs> it's your turn, Libra. Okay, so it's October. Spooky month. Can we just be really excited about that? Because I am. Okay? So. Mm. <laughs> you guys know I love October. It's my favorite freaking month. Because. Ooh. I just hit my table. Because we get to do spooky tarot. For the love of God. It's spooky month. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do spooky tarot. Um, I'm on the floor. I can't do a lot of readings because my booty is going to start hurting. So I left my camera stand at my mom's house when I went to take care of her when she had her surgery. So now I don't have any of my equipment. I have my light, but I didn't bring my camera stand. I left it there. So she has my camera stand and she lives in Lansing, which is almost two hours away. It's an hour and 35 minutes. <sighs> Lansing's my hometown, but I don't live there anymore. And so, Libra, I have my phone ghetto <laughs> propped on these tarot cards, stacked on other tarot cards, right? I have a stack of tarot cards. My phone is on the tarot cards, and I have my light propped here. Normally, I have it on my camera stand. But this show must go on. I control this show. I control this movie. And I say, we're not stopping. We are not stopping. So let's go. All right. I'm actually, let me, I'm going to pause this because I'm going to cleanse the space again um, with my bell. So clear the energy. Okay. So we are going to dive right in, my Libras. Okay, we are starting out with my favorite deck, which is the Tarot of Beauty of Horror Tarot, which I like to lovingly refer to as my spooky deck. So, don't ask me how I have so much energy. I've been up since like 3.30 a.m., which lately I've been getting up that early, like 3.30, 4 in the morning. And by 8 o'clock, y'all, I'm in bed. I, I don't know what's going on there, but, you know, I like it because I get to get more done, you know, and I actually get to wear makeup and stuff so I don't feel like such a hobo all the time, you know, so it's, it's like whether I'm going somewhere or not, I can, I can actually get up and do my makeup, which to be honest, I really don't do that mo mo most of the time, you know, unless I know I'm going to be on camera again. Why is there so much hair on this carpet? Okay. So we're reading now for Libra. I've already asked Archangel Michael to protect our space. And what does Libra need to know about their love life right now? All right. So all of my readings are timeless. You guys know that, right? They're timeless. But, you know, I, I try to do them every month. Whoa. And there you are, Libra. That's your energy, right? It's justice. I don't know how that quite plays into your love life yet. So, but it's funny because this person's in an electric chair. I feel like whatever connection you have coming in, it's going to be an electric one. Like it's going to feel really, really, really pss, hot, right? You're going to feel like sparks, like instant sparks, Libra, with someone. Four of pentacles. If you're dealing with someone right now, I would say, I would predict the chemistry is quite magnetic and electric. However, Libra, I don't know if you're dealing with this person now or if this is someone coming in. Okay. This person is, is probably not going to open up to you, you know, right away. We have the four of pentacles. So that's someone who's like, doesn't really like to open up really quickly you know they sort of take their time to warm up to you and to get to know you right they're a lot of fun though the swing to me like represents fun so you know you could be dealing with um i don't know i guess, I guess it could be any sign but 
was going to say, fire signs are known for being fun and spontaneous. I'm a fire sign. We fun. <laughs> oh, jeez. King of Swords. See? This person. Oh, Libra. This person. If you're dealing with this person now, I'm sorry. Because, look, we have... Um, four, why can I not talk all of a sudden? We have Four of Pentacles, King of Swords. This person is very closed off. I don't know if, if Libra, I don't know if this person is going to open up to you. Okay. King of Swords is someone that is, is in an energy of like, they're very closed off. They're very stoic. They're, you know, they don't, oh, that was, that double chin was lovely. Did you see that? It was, it was so lovely with that face that I did with the King of Swords face. Let's do it again. There it is. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, <clears throat> you can't take yourself too seriously. <clears throat> so, especially if you're on camera all the time like me, they obviously have some throat chakra issues. My throat has been crazy. Virgo's person did too. But anyways, they would be very stoic and sort of emotionless in the beginning, right? I don't know. This person needs to open up because if not, I don't, I'm not... I feel like, so the connection is there. It's definitely there, right? But you need to get their shit together, Libra. We're going to get two more cards from here. What else does Libra need to know about this person? Why is this person afraid to open up? Let's just ask that, okay? Wow. It, they're watching you. There's the Page of Swords. It's the watch the card. They're watching your social media. With the water there, I feel like they may have, they're feeling all the feelings. The water shows me that they're feeling all the feelings. Look, they're in their feelings. They may, you know what, let me just ask. Why is this person afraid of opening up? Whoa, they gave me two cards right away off the bat. Oh, okay. So, this person is afraid to open up because they have been hurt very badly in the past, okay? Um... They have abandonment issues. They also have severe anxiety. <laughs> um, you make them extremely nervous. They see you as, they kind of put you on a pedestal, Libra. And so you make them super nervous and it creates a lot of anxiety for this person. You know, they're also a little bit nervous that, you know, it's going to end how their other relationship ended, which to me, that's stupid. Like why punish someone for something that someone else did in the past? Right. But you know, people do it because they're dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, they're also afraid that if they don't open up soon, that you are going to walk away from them because they're look, there's eight of cups. Um, I'm going to, okay, let me, I'm going to do this. Oh, look at that though. I was just about to put the deck away and on the bottom of the deck is the two of cups. So this is a really strong connection. Um, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to switch decks and I'm going to ask what, what's going to happen? Is there going to be any action? Is this person going to start opening up? All right. What's what is it? What is this person's actions towards Libra? Let's ask that. Like, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna get their head out of their booty, or are they gonna be stupid? Like, what? What? What is the action here? What is the action? What are these person's actions? Hmm? What is the, gonna be their next move towards Libra? Because I feel like this is a really deep soul connection, right? Could be possible to inflame, but Libra, if they're not opening up, I feel like you might just be like, forget it. And let's see. So what are these person's actions towards Libra? Oh, we have Ace of Wands. Movement, right? Oh, look, and it, it looks like they're gonna they're gonna reach out. It's communication. There's a letter. Look, it's Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is about um energy moving. Um, it's, it's like divine energy. I like to call it. So it's 
faded um you know it's it's i call it like the from god card it's also the card of sexual attraction so this person is very sexually attracted to you um but it's it's something that is meant to happen right it's a divine energy divine timing type situation i like to call it the divine hand of god so it's like when god intervenes to orchestrate something for something to happen right they're going to come up with the exact right words and communicate it when they are ready through a message and they're going to have some help with this message. They're getting divine guidance from someone. Divine guidance from a higher power. Either their higher self or from God's source or their angels, right? This is all orchestrated beyond your guys' control. There is divine little puppet strings being pulled, Libra. Ooh, we I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Okay, so we are going to move on to the love oracle. I don't know how much more energy I'm going to have here. i got to make some dinner for my kiddos soon. It was, I don't know what time it is now. But it was like 4.30 when I was reading for Virgo. And, okay, so what else does Libra need to know about this connection? Ooh, we. This is beautiful. Oh. We have surrendered. We have crossroads, Libra. What else? Oh, God. Wow. So uh, we have surrender and we have crossroads. We have grass is green and regret. So, this person may have pulled back their energy from you because they thought the grass was greener. There was some energy of like they thought they thought maybe they could play the field a little bit. They thought they, you know, um, they didn't need Libra, but they were so wrong. They needed Libra because now look, they're drunk, they're upset, they're in regret. They wasted. Look at that laying in bed all these bottles up up above their head they drunk <laughs> they're drunk thinking about libra going oh my god and it just had to get to this point where both of you had to surrender you know you got to this crossroads and they they knew they knew libra they had to make a decision they were at this crossroads and they're like libra's gonna they're gonna leave and they couldn't stand the thought of you going so when they got to this point in the road where it's like do I continue feeling like the grass is greener like I can do better than Libra right do I play the fields it's okay so it reminds me of this song I just recently posted on my um, community post you guys should check it out it's called Bambi and in this song, it's, it was a channeled song from the masculines to the feminines. And, you know, I post twin flame songs, right? Channeled songs from the masculine and up in the feminine. Nothing came through for the, from, from the feminines to the masculines. But a song from the masculines came through. It was really strong that came through. And I, and I, I had to jump through a whole bunch of hoops and spider webs to to stumble upon this song that's how i knew it was it was not from me it was from spirit because i literally followed this little bread crumb trail that spirit had given me it was insane you guys you you should just go check it out it was on my community post but the song is called bambi and the guy says something about being at at a crossroads or a fork in the road or something like that and he said i knew that this day would come when I would have to choose between loving many or loving one, right? And that that's what this reminds me of, Libra. So your person was at this crossroads, this fork in the road, and they said they had to make a choice to continue to love many, you know, and, and live in this regret and this whole grass is greener, like playing the field that thought that was a big player, right? <laughs> 
they had to make the choice between loving many or loving one. And they knew they could not live without you, Libra. So they're going to surrender to this feeling and this love. Guess it's up to you whether you want to surrender back. All right, I'm going to get a numerology card, and then we're going to close the message of love cards, and then we're going to end with a Keeper of the Light card for you. Crazy. Oh, I got an itch. Okay. Libra. What do we have? A numerology card for Libra, please. Wow, this reading is hit pretty heavy. Your person is definitely feeling pretty crappy. Hey, what's up, honey? What's the matter? I'm not bleeding. Again? Let me see. Yeah, I was trying to Google it and get it out. Um, I don't think so. Oh, a little bit. Yep, she's got a loose tooth. <laughs> um, do you still have that water that you used before? Yeah. Okay, I would rinse it out with that one. Because it hasn't quite fallen out yet, so. Okay? Sorry. Tooth Fairy is going to come y'all soon. <laughs> Tooth Fairy. Okay, I love you, darling. I'm almost done here, okay? I'm going to do one more reading after this for the collective. Okay. I love you too, baby. 41. What? I, I, I can't right now, baby. I'm working, okay? When I get done, just save it. No, it's on right now. I don't, I don't want to pause it, okay? No, I'm watching... Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so, ooh, we have forty-one self-discipline. All right, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. To me, this feels like a twin flame connection because your your person, I feel like your person needed to learn self-discipline. Okay, that's why they're in this feeling of regret. They wanted to be able to do whatever the heck they want. They had no discipline. They may have played the field a little bit, right? And the thing is, as 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 much as y'all don't want to hear this, I know you guys don't want to hear this, but you're going to have to hear it because if I'm going to help you to get into union, you guys need to know what I know. I have been working with Twin Flames and with Twin Flame Energy since 2018, y'all, since I started my channel. Okay, and I'm going to break it down for you like this. Whether you like to hear it or not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you the truth. Your twin flame is your freaking mirror. Whatever it is that you are experiencing, whatever it is that is unhealed in you, your twin is mirroring that back to you. So if, you know, I see a lot of comments, people are like, oh, my twin is a cheater. He's a manipulator. He's a narcissist. He does this. That's probably not your twin flame. Because unless you're a cheater, a liar, a manipulator, and a narcissist too, <laughs> that person's not your twin. Your twin is the exact energetic blueprint of you, okay? You guys are one soul that was split into two, and so you are exact mirrors of each other. If your twin is a cheater, where have you cheated yourself so that your twin flame is cheating on you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so there needs to be a little bit more self-discipline, Libra, in your life. Where are you not being disciplined? Because that is the reason your twin has no discipline and why they feel like they can just run the field and play the field and do all this crazy stuff. You have to figure out where you don't have that self-discipline in your life. Because they will mirror it back to you. Not necessarily the way that you are doing it, but in a different way. So, for example, you have, this is just an example. I'm not saying that this is what's going on. Say you don't have discipline as far as eating. Like, you either binge eat a lot or you don't eat enough. And so that would be a lack of self-discipline, right? So then your twin would mirror that. Not necessarily in, in an eating form, but in a different form. So say they don't know when to um, pick one person. They want to just play the field. They want to they taste every fruit. 
<laughs> Meaning they want to date and date and date and date. And then they might put you on the back burner because they're like, oh, well, they treat you like an option and they want to just play the field and dip their hand in every single pie, right? When they should just be focused on you. That's a lack of self-discipline. They might love you so much, but they don't have the discipline to stop playing the field and dating and, you know, sticking their hand in every pie because they don't have self-discipline as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they will mirror what it is that you need to heal in a different form. And it could be in the exact same form. They might have eating things too. And that's just an example. Like, please don't take it literal. Okay. It's the best way that I can explain this. Okay. Um, but the good news is this is number 41 added up in four and one it's five. So that means there is going to be a significant change in your, the way you discipline yourself you are going to get that self-discipline that you need in order to get into this union because five means change and change, it means happy changes. So, okay, let's go ahead and dive into the secrets of your person's heart, what they want to say to you, but they don't say to you because they're crazy. They just hold it all inside and, you know, it makes them sick and they, yeah. And then they end up drinking and that's why they got the regret card. <laughs> three cards from Libra's person. What do they want to tell Libra, but they don't? The secret messages of their hearts. Three cards, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. I am only going to do one more reading after this because my energy is waning. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. I told you, this is why they're having the regrets because they were away from you. They thought the grass was greener. They wanted to play the field. And then they realized when you withdrew your energy, oh my God, they were like, oh my God, oh my God. They felt your absence and they gained that clarity and they were like, the grass is not greener. I need Libra. You don't have to take them back, Libra. The choice is always yours. It's a free will nation, baby. Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. I told you. They can't move on. They can't. They're stuck. They're obsessed. They're like, Libra, I need Libra. They need you. Libra, they need you. Of course they do. You're Libra. You're freaking phenomenal. You're fashionable. You're beautiful. Libra. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. See? They they had that, that little window, Libra. They had the little window where they should have came forward and said, I'm crazy in love with you. But instead, they were like, oh, I think I'm going to go on a date with this person. Right? And I'm not saying that's what they did. <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know, they're a player, you know, because that's just the energy that I feel. Like, they may have... You know, grass is greener. It means that they thought that there was better things to come. But then they realized nothing is better than Libra. Because it's nothing is. Duh. Okay, last message for Libra. Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm not sure if they were the chaser, you were the chaser. I don't know. But this is their energy, okay? I said the 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 messages of their heart so they're saying they don't want to chase you anymore libra right so it they don't want to chase you because they want to capture you okay they may have felt like you know they had to chase you because you know maybe to me it feels like they so they have an issue with, it's this type of energy, it's like, they will chase something and then they get it and then they don't want it anymore, right? It's like this energy of, ooh, it's almost like I feel like they're in love with the chase more than the actual, like, relationship itself. Like, they, they're they more in love with the challenge of winning someone over, right? They tried to do that with you and then they realized very quickly that they screwed up because they chased you and pursued you. I can't even talk. They chased you and pursued you and once they got you, they were like, oh, 
they didn't expect to feel how they felt when they felt in your feels, when they felt, when they felt you. <laughs> they fell. They didn't expect to, right? But they didn't know that they were in a twin flame, twin soul connection. And so you threw them for a loop, Libra. That's what happened. One second. Okay, sorry about the Libra. I had a message. Okay, so we are going to end with a Keeper of the Light card. And then this reading has gotten way too long. So we're done. We're done. But that message had to come out. Like, I'm not going to shorten the message just because, you know, Spirit speaks. And I have to get the message out. I can't just cut it because I'm tired. I am tired. <laughs> Libra, final message. Lord Shiva, transcendence. Ooh, way, Libra. Y'all on some shit. Okay, rise up, honor your inner force, and steps are being given. Dance with the universe. I told you, so the universe is laying out your next steps in regards to your twin flame journey. I told you. This is the second reading I've done today, right? That was supposed to be just a general love reading, which ended up being a twin flame reading, which is insane. I read for Virgo, and... Theirs ended up being a twin flame connection too. It was, we got the two of cups. So it's 540. Okay. I got to get off here because I got to make my kids some dinner. And I have one more reading to do for the collective. So I got to get my butt in gear, y'all. Okay. Shiva is one of India's trinity of the male god figures. I'm going to read this right from the book for you. He is depicted wearing a cobra around his neck and representing his capacity to tame fear or the ego surrounded by the stars showing his connection to the cosmos and holding a trident acknowledging the three aspects of divine masculine power in india creator preserver and destroyer he is known as the destroyer because of his warrior-like energy and ability to destroy fear he is a facet of the Divine Father energy and offers paternal protection, support, and guidance. He's also acknowledged as the Cosmic Dancer because he helps coordinate the interaction between Earth and the cosmos. He has the capacity to help us move beyond the fear of failure and into clarity and connection. Lord Shiva is with you right now to awaken your sense of connection to life itself. You are moving through a deep transition and things will be clearer from this point. You will know exactly what you need to do and where you need to be. This is a powerful time as you will transcend the limitations that others have set for you. It is a time of innovation, ideas, stargazing, soul traveling, and soul revealing. I told you. You're, the layers of your soul are being revealed, and that's why this twin flame connection has came in for you. Shiva, the Lord of Dance, is here with his sacred sound of Om to lead the way. So the steps are being revealed to you. The next steps, you just got to follow the breadcrumbs like I do. <laughs> All right. I love you, Libra. If you would like a book of reading with me, I'm going to put a pinned comment in the comments where you can find the link to all my services. And I will also put it in the description. It's always in the description box below my videos. You guys know that. I love you, Libra. Bye. <laughs>